As you watch Tom Hanks fighting pirates this weekend from the climate-controlled safety of your local multiplex, it could be easy to forget that Captain Phillips' experience was not a one-off. There's a real-life war going on right now on the open seas between actual pirates and the American mercenaries making big bucks to fight them off. Nightline's newest anchor, Dan Harris, explains. I don't like the look of that. They're coming in fast. Tonight in multiplexes across America, moviegoers are taking in the story of Captain Phillips. We have been boarded by four armed pirates. Stick together and we'll be all right. Tom Hanks doing his best New England accent as he plays the man from Vermont whose commercial ship was attacked by Somali pirates in the middle of the Indian Ocean in 2009. If you're gonna shoot somebody, shoot me! Relax. Everything's gonna be okay. But some of the men on board the real Maersk, Alabama with Captain Phillips are seething at this heroic portrayal. They're suing the shipping line, arguing that Phillips ignored warnings to stay at least 600 miles away from the coast of Somalia. The Maersk, Alabama was only about 250 miles away. In court documents, members of Captain Phillips' crew claim they were knowingly, intentionally, and willfully sent into an area with pirates because the route saved the company money. The movie tells a highly fictionalized version of what actually happened on the boat. To make him into a hero for driving this boat and these men into pirate-infested waters, that's the real injustice here. The company calls the lawsuit meritless, and here is how Captain Phillips defended himself in an interview with ABC News. That's the farthest I'd ever been away from Somalia. So it really didn't matter. It's wherever the pirates were was the problem. If you don't want to deal with piracy, you, you, you need to, to, to get another job. The movie doesn't address this controversy. But what is not controversial is that Somalia is a place of famine, poverty, and lawlessness, a perfect breeding ground for piracy, as I saw firsthand. All you need is 30 seconds on the ground here to see how inhospitable this terrain is to any sort of life. This country is the home base of the terror group that carried out the recent mall massacre in Kenya. If you look around, the poverty is grinding. It's epic, and the job opportunity is basically non-existent. That is why so many young men here turn to piracy. On this video obtained by Nightline, you get a fascinating look at what it's like when pirates take over a commercial ship. No money. Money should be from company. As they await their ransom money, they settle right in, cooking in the galley, even sleeping in the crew's beds. But they are not always this peaceful. In 2011, pirates seized a yacht piloted by four Americans and murdered them. Steady the weapon. To defend themselves, shipping companies are now spending close to a billion dollars on private guards who are now waging a largely hidden mercenary war against pirates. All of this corporate cash is attracting security firms from all over the world with varying levels of discipline. Check out this music video allegedly made by Russian Marines. They blow up a pirate flotilla and then do target practice on it. I'll give you a weapon spray when we're ready, just stand by. Some of the controversy has involved American firms. Look at this video of a small boat heading toward this American shipping vessel. Okay, let's go. The team leader orders a warning shot. Go ahead, warning shot. But look at what happens instead, a massive blast of gunfire. The pirate skiff, its driver perhaps hit or killed, crashes into the side of the ship. So as you watch this, you believe your guys did the right thing Absolutely. at every step? Absolutely. Tom Rothrauf, CEO of Trident Security, says what you can't see on this now infamous videotape is that as soon as his men fired warning shots, the pirates fired back. If somebody was to look at that and make a blind statement of this is indiscriminate killing, then they don't know what's going on. He concedes there may be some security companies who need to be reined in. It's a 5.56 weapon. That's what we use for all teams that are out there. But he points out, and the State Department confirms, that there have been no successful pirate attacks on ships protected by armed guards, something he says may well have prevented the attack on the Maersk, Alabama, where there were no such guards. We have been boarded by armed pirates. For Nightline, this is Dan Harris in New York.